Hey guys, welcome back to Objective Reviews. Now today we are going to be taking a look at a app update which I've been highly anticipating over the past few months and that is none other than DropShare 2.0. So let's check it out. Now if you're not familiar with what DropShare is, well DropShare is a very simple app that allows you to upload files to the cloud. Wait, that sounds familiar. Well, how is it different from Google Drive or Dropbox or all the other apps that are out there? Well, there are two unique factors here. Number one, you get to use your own storage option. And the examples are like Amazon's S3 or your own server over SSH or your own FTP server. Now, Timo, the developer, has added DropShare Cloud and we'll be talking about that in a moment. But first, let's check out the app itself. Well what you can do is get started by creating a new connection now this could be an s3 connection or a connection to rackspace or uh, your ftp server and all the guides and all this information is up on their website so go check it out depending on what kind of connection you want to set up and once you've done that what you can do is start uploading files now there's no limit on what kind of files you upload because you're providing the storage uh, not drop share so that's pretty cool so there are no limits on what kind of files you can upload or the sizes of files, although Amazon's S3 does have a limitation of 5 GB per file, I think. So, yeah, that, but that 5 gigabytes is still a lot for a single file. So, that's pretty cool. What DropShare can also do is create previews for your image files and audio files, etc. It can convert uh, your regular mount-down files into HTML when it's uploading and you can also upload notes and zip files and wow the feature list just goes on and with all of this you also get a custom url shortener you can use the dropshare's own custom url shortener or you can use the goog.l or whatever the google url shortener is or you can give it your own custom one uh, something like bitly's url shortener and you can use that as well now that's pretty cool if you want to upload one file, but what if you want to upload multiple files? Well, how the process usually goes in all the other apps is you select one photo, upload it, wait for it to upload, come back, select the next photo, upload, wait for it to upload, and the wheel keeps spinning. But for DropShare, what you can do is select a bunch of files at once, and in a single swoop, upload them to DropShare. So yeah, that is very, very convenient. Thank you, Timo. Now, uh, back in the day, I reported to Timo a lot of UI bugs, which he has completely fixed in version 2. And now the app is smoother than ever. It looks good. It works fast. And now we have DropShare Cloud. So let's talk about that. Now, DropShare Cloud is DropShare's cloud offering, where it gives you storage space to store your files. Now, this is available under the Connections tab. And you can go in and create a new connection. But wait, hold on. Wait a minute you can't sign up. Well, to sign up, you have to actually go to a browser on your Mac or PC and sign up from there. Now, DropShare Cloud is free right now uh, during the beta process, so uh, you can choose billing between monthly or annually, and it's going to start billing you not right away. Paddle is, however, going to charge you a dollar just to make sure that you've entered the correct card details, so when Timo actually decides to start charging, his users for DropShare Cloud, he can do that very simply and the transition can be very, very smooth for us. So now let's talk about pricing. Uh, for people who have bought DropShare version 1 will remember that it was a paid app and DropShare 2 is a free app. So how does that work out? Well, Timo was kind enough to give all the DropShare version 1 owners a free upgrade for the pro features in DropShare 2. So a big thank you to Timo. For doing that well guys that's it for the review of dropshare version 2.0 if you like this review hit the like button if you disliked it you know what to do if you're new around here don't forget to subscribe i'll see you next time cheers <laughs>